Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's D here and I'm coming to you with a what's in my bag. So what you see in front of you <clears throat> is my city toe in leopard print. So I had a little bit of a lazy haul, a uh, lazy bag switch. Um, wouldn't quite say lazy because I had to still put a lot of things in here that wouldn't be able to fit in my rowing satchel. If you remember, I went from my rowing satchel in leopard to the tote in leopard. I was like, let me keep this leopard thing going. Uh, but I still, I didn't have as much, of course, in the rowing satchel as I had in here. So, um, let's just start with the outside. This is my second city tote. I did uh, purchase, back in the summer, I purchased the uh, purple uh tote that was a, a part of the block color block or something like that that went crazy everybody loved all those different colors and then i purchased the leopard one so this is my second um city tote believe it or not i had never had a tote in my collection at all y'all i am a satchel girl so i had a lot of satchels um but yeah so anyway without further ado Let's get into this beautiful bag. Um, I have fell in love with this leopard. <clears throat> this has silver hardware. And I'm sorry about the sun, y'all. Um, but I am rocking the same leather flower uh, bag charm that I had on my rowing on here with the gold. And that's fine with me. There's a uh, tag on here, coach tag. Um, I'll push this up a little bit too. And <clears throat> there is no feet on the bottom. And here's how it looks in the inside. I love the pouch method, y'all, in my totes. I thought about getting, a, um, and I still might get one just to have a, um, a bag, you know, organizer. Um, and I still might get one just to have it, but even in my purple city toad, I did the, the pouch method. Um, I love the other side of this. It's a like a chocolate brown, like a brown. Um, of course, it has one zipper pocket in the back. You guys know how the city toad is set up. Um, and it almost looks like it could be reversible because on the other side, you can see the coach hardware is on the other side. And I actually saw a young lady who turned this bag inside out and what she did was she just kept this pouch in the to the back of her I mean and she wore it on the other side I'm, I'm not doing that but yeah she did it and I mean it didn't look bad but I'm just not gonna do it so yeah this is what it looks like in the inside so let's get into what's in here I'm gonna start with the back pocket in the back pocket, I have my, oops, and my key just fell clean out of there. I gotta put this right. Um, my six ring key holder, LB, that's in that back pocket, and my handy dandy car holder that I'm falling in love with, that's in my back pocket, and My tag for the bag, I keep those in the pocket. My house keys and work keys, and my husband's key. I loved carrying this because everything was so accessible. Um, I loved carrying it like that. So I have my Coach pencil case, which I have my favorite ink pens in, and you guys know the drill. I have a lip gloss in here. And I have my um, vegan biosance gloss in here too. Um, I have my black um, fossil wallet, and I think I had this. I had the same wallet in my Rowan. Um, I love this wallet because it has so many card slots in it. Uh, it holds a lot. It has my change. And cash in it um it, it holds a lot that way you don't have to have too much in your you know bag which you can put as much as you want in this bag it's huge 
the next thing I have is my coach peel case and I actually you can convert this and make it into whatever you want to but I I have it as a peel case because I mean I have a lot of peels <laughs> um allergies and everything the next thing that I have is my wristlet is in there um and in my wristlet <clears throat> and I really enjoyed this pouch and I don't have really too much in my pouches because I just don't like to overpack it um, I have my perfumes. I have this smells so good, y'all. I have my cleaning, my happy. It's a sample. I have the uh, my beautiful Magnolia hand cream by Estee Lauder. It smells so good. Um, I have my my extra contact lens. I have most of my lip is in perfume, isn't here. My Dior lip maximizer. I have me some Carmex Peach Mango. I have my sample of um, Edol in there. And I have my, which is almost gone, I could just chunk this, another sample of the uh, Valentino uh, Rome, Diane Rome, Diana Rome, I guess that's how you say that, which smells heavenly. So that's all that's in here. All right. So then I have my, my eyeglass case and my eyeglasses are in here. Um, absolutely love this. This is my first time, uh, breaking that out too and then last but not least I have my Nolita 19 and in my Nolita it's like my little bathroom uh, hands my little sanitizer pouch I have our um, our uh, cards in here our uh, vaccine cards I have some Kleenex I have my hand sanitizer in here um and I have my Lysol in here. So that's all that I have in my Nolita. And I am going to actually, and I have some doctor's appointments cards in here. So yeah, that's all that I have in my Nolita. 19 and I kind of use that tuck method that I saw you guys using um let's push this down somewhere where you just kind of tuck the strap around so that's what I did with that also I what I did was I just kept my strap to my no leader in here too just in case I wanted to leave this at home and pop the strap on it and uh and carry cross body so I had that in here too and a little lonely McDonald's straw so that is all that I had in this beautiful bag of course I could have put a whole lot more in here um, this bag carried really well I love a tote um, I now that I I love my my purple tote and this tote carried so well um, not too heavy with all this stuff. You would think it would be heavy. It wasn't heavy for me. I, I don't know. I just threw it across my shoulder. Some days I found myself just carrying it, you know, like this in my hand. And the, uh, the closure on here is amazing. When I tell you this is, I mean, it is strong. So, I mean, don't look at that. I mean, it's so strong. You can hear it. It is strong. So I loved that about this bag. Um, I loved everything about this bag. So I will definitely probably be investing in um, another uh, tote. And let me just say this. I, that was my first tote from Coach. <laughs> let me say that. Because I have totes from Dooney. 
Um, but yeah, I, this is not my uh, last tote from Coach because I definitely enjoyed this carry. Um, and I will be um, adding another one to my collection when not quite sure because I am scaling back on buying handbags. Um, I will be purchasing a few accessories here and there. Um, but as far as bags, I am planning to definitely scale back this year because I have some goals in mind of some things, some bags that I really want to get, um, some wish list bags. So I, um, I have decided to scale back. I'm not saying I'm going on a no buy because I'm not. Uh, I would love to be able to do that, but I don't. I don't want to do that to myself. I work hard, and when I want to buy something, I'm, I'm just going to buy it. Life is short. Now, if I was out here like a lot of you guys with a huge collection, I can certainly understand that. But my collection is nowhere near some of the, the some of you guys, and so I understand you guys. You know, when you have just everything. Um, and I am satisfied with what I have. I could probably stop right now and I will be okay for a long time. But there are a few things that, you know, I want to get. But mostly I want to concentrate on my um, my wish list bags. Because, you know, they're pricey. And I do want to put some funds aside to be able to invest in those handbags. Rather putting money out on uh, little bags here and there when I could really get, you know, what I really desire this year. So that's my goal for this year. I'm not going to go on a, on a no, uh, no buy. I thought about that really hard. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to concentrate on uh, saving up some money to really put the money into bags that I really want. Um, so that's it, guys. As always, thank you guys so much. If you are new here, please consider hitting that subscription button. It is free no charge to you if you are a return viewer i appreciate you guys so much y'all we are almost at 500 so once again if you have not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscription button for me you will not regret it we like to have fun over here i appreciate you guys if you have any questions or concerns um anything you want to say at the bottom below comments go ahead and put it down there and i'll be sure to communicate with you in the comments y'all have an awesome awesome day Bye-bye.